in an 8 by 10 right next to my desk. It's a quote from Lyndon Baines Johnson. Sometimes you just have to hunker down like a jackass in a hailstorm and just take it. Well, I'm tired of just taking it. I'm tired of the partisanship. Now, I don't give a damn if you're a Democrat or Republican. Let's put our country before our party. We don't need any more partisan warriors. What we have to do is we've got to step back from the partisanship. We've got to step back from the politicization. Partisanship is not patriotism. I spent nearly 30 years in the Air Force, and during that time, I was fortunate to hold five commands. And it did not matter to me or our mission if a subordinate or a teammate was a Republican or Democrat. I can imagine as soon as Republicans take charge again, we're going to do the same thing back to the other side. Washington, D.C., where every edge is sought, and whenever it is sought, it is exploited to keep your particular party in power. And I say this as a Republican, I don't trust my party any more than I trust their party. Public service isn't about partisanship. Put the partisanship aside. Put the country first. America needs unity. One day, like all of us, I will meet our creator. And when I do, I believe he will not care about what political party I associate myself with. But he will, he will care how I treated my brothers and sisters. I think politics has made us crazy. Everybody in this country has lost their minds on politics. The pursuit of democracy has got to be nonpartisan, forget bipartisan. There should be nothing partisan for us. Shouldn't we be fighting? that impulse to divide into groups against each other. I think we need to do more uniting. We must remember that our dysfunction is not confined to the Capitol. It, it ripples far beyond these walls to every state, to every town, and to every street corner in America. Everything we do here has a trickle-down effect. If we are divided, then the nation is divided. How do we heal? How do we move forward? This partisanship and indulgence we, we cannot afford. The status quo ain't working. It's not. That is an indictment of both parties. Not as Republicans or Democrats, but as Americans. We have got to come to the table with a new cure, a new solution, and yes, a compromise, something that will work. The cure is right in front of us. Instead of just two teams, one team. You know, there are no Democratic veterans and no Republican veterans. They're only American veterans. They don't go to the battlefield as a partisan. They go to the battlefield as an American.
we have broken the system because we have chosen to ignore our own rules, our own laws. If federal employees are prohibited from engaging in political activity on duty or in the federal workplace. And we're all federal employees. It's political activity, which is a crime under the Hatch Act. The most powerful officials in the land will be governed just like everybody else. One of the key pillars of our nation is the rule of law. In a civilized society, the same laws need to apply to everyone. If federal employees are prohibited from engaging in political activity on duty or in the federal workplace, We've talked a lot about treating ourselves the same, covering ourselves by the same laws that we expect others to abide by. And that was the reason uh, that we tied ourselves to other federal employees. We are ultimately paid by the federal government, the federal taxpayer. We're federal employees. In this country, no one is above the law. Now, of course, the Founding Fathers would have been astonished to know that Congress had exempted itself from so many laws that had passed. Curiously, the only people who do not have to comply with the laws are those who make the laws. Madison wrote that Congress, and I quote, can pass no law which will not have its full operation on themselves and their friends as well as on the great mass of society. Once American people one set of laws. If federal employees are prohibited from engaging in political activity on duty or in the federal workplace. State senators in Nebraska are nonpartisan. No matter party or ideological affiliation, any senator can serve in leadership. The only requirements are knowledge and ability. We want Congress's role to be nonpartisan looking at the good of neither political party, but much rather for the good of our dear country. I come from a very unique perspective. I come from a state that has the only unicameral system in the nation. But what's even more unique about that is it's not Republican or Democrat. Our senators were elected on a nonpartisan ticket. In fact, I used to say, that they held that nonpartisan badge as a badge of honor. What Nebraska does, so can we. That's the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Quigley. The gentleman from Illinois is rec recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman. Mr. Speaker, everything is impossible until it isn't. 